the 22nd Annual Academy of Country Music Awards. And once again, we have a surprise for someone in the theater this year. And this year, the Academy of, of Country Music Pioneer Award, it goes to an artist who has, has truly been a pioneer in country music. And because for the past, I guess for 47 years now, uh, well, she has brought all of us so much uh, a pleasure by not even singing. Howdy! I'm just so proud to be here! Minnie Pearl, as Ralph Edwards said, this is your life. <laughs> Sarah Ophelia Colley was born and grew up in Centerville, Tennessee. And right from the very beginning, she loved to entertain. Whether it was uh, playing the piano, dramatic acting, or just fooling around. That's how Sarah Ophelia got started. Janie Freaky, uh, how about uh, telling us how Miss Minnie got started, would you? I sure will, Mel. Now, when Sarah Ophelia was in Bailington, Alabama, putting on a play, well, she stayed on Sand Mountain in a little cabin with an old mountain woman who was so real and so country and so funny that Sarah Ophelia was inspired to develop the Minnie character. And the very first time that she performed Minnie Pearl was in Aiken, South Carolina in 1939. Minnie Pearl came into my life 47 years ago when she joined the Grand Ole Opry. And she brought a crowd of wonderful folks with her. Uncle Nabob, Aunt Ambrosie, mother, brother, sister, and her feller Hezzy, and dozen more from Grinder Switch, Tennessee. She says I'm her best friend, and I say she's everybody's best friend. Minnie, I'm just so proud of you tonight. Congratulations. In the early 1940s, with Minnie Pearl, she toured the military bases with Mr. Pee Wee Minnie King Pearl, and his fine band. <laughs> and she has done some shows with some of the greatest uh, uh, country personalities, uh, as well as others. And Miss, Pearl, and Miss Minnie Pearl is at home with all of them. I met Minnie 41 years ago on a Pee Wee King tent tour. One night I said to her, the heat is intense. And she said, sure, it's canvas. There's always heat in tents. And we did some dance routines together. And she sure knew some interesting steps. Our friendship continued right into Hee Haw, where we got to work together a lot. Well, I guess at your age, Grandpa, it might take a little more than a tonic to get you going. I reckon. You know, when I was young, I didn't know what to do. And now that I'm old, I can't do what I know. <laughs> I've always loved that crazy lady, Minnie Pearl, and that very fine lady, Sarah Ophelia Collie Cannon. You both deserve this award. Congratulations. Minnie is still going strong. She's keeping up with the young folks like Ricky Skaggs. <laughs> She sure is, Mel. Recently, she joined with all the top comedians in the country to appear on Comic Relief to aid homeless people here right in the United States. Uncle, now I'm gonna tell you about him. He ain't a failure, he just started at the bottom and he likes it there. <laughs> he is, he's just wonderful. He's got excellent aims, but no ammunition. You know, <laughs> he's got a bad habit of dipping into the coin squeezings. Says he takes a little nip every once in a while, kind of steady his nerves. He gets pretty steady sometimes, he don't move at all. <laughs> Deacon Rowe, who worked, used to work for uh, her daddy, used to say, prop us up on your leaning side. And many took it to heart because she's been helping prop people up ever since. The Humane Society, uh, the Heart Association, the Cancer Society, and Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, and so many other charitable causes. Many show business contributions were recognized in 1975 when she was inducted into the Country Music Association's Hall of Fame. You know, there's a poem that Minnie keeps on her desk at home. A bell's not a bell till you ring it, and a song's not a song till you sing it. And love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. And love isn't love till you give it away. Minnie, you've given more than your share, honey. We all love you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for 74 years of love and laughter, the Academy's Pioneer Award is presented to Minnie Pearl. Thank you. I am really proud to be here. At my age, you're proud to be anywhere. <laughs> Bill Boyd, you turkey. <laughs> Got me way out here, and you know I have to be in Punta Gorda, Florida tomorrow. He insisted that I come, and I guess this is why, and I do appreciate it, and thank you all. I, everybody thanks everybody, and well, they might. Nobody gets anywhere without a little help. But I think we all should thank a gentleman who 62 years ago started the Grand Ole Opry, Judge Hay, the solemn old judge. He told me the night I went on the first time in 1940, he said, you're scared, aren't you, honey? And I said, yes, sir. He said, love them, and they'll love you right back. What a wonderful, wonderful piece of advice to give a young person. And I was young, and I don't deserve any Pioneer Award. I'm still young, <laughs> real young. And I do appreciate the fact that I have been able to be a part of anything as great as the country music business. It's great, it appeals to everybody, and I do appreciate it so much, and it's what it's done for me. As Mel Smellville, m -m Mel said, <laughs> I make people happy by not singing. <laughs> but I do want to thank uh, Jim and Terry and Judy Popsky and all these nice people at the Halls Agency put up with me for 20 years. And I want to say this, that the Lord's been good to me because he gave me Henry Cannon for 40 long, happy years. <laughs> oh, what a... Whew! How many airports we flew into. How many, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Smellville was with us a lot of those times. And we did have, a, we have had and do have a good time. And I want to thank the Lord for taking me through a bout with cancer. You girls, get those checkups, don't forget it. And all the things that have happened to me in all these years, oh my word, oh, I wish I were young like some of these young people and know what I know. Nobody'd speak to me. 